Valentine's Day should be a national holiday and we should get the day off from school and work. Valentine's Day is already celebrated by people across the nation and they're taking off the day from school and work, so we might as well give them the day off anyway. Second of all, Jennifer Aniston endorses Valentine's Day. I've seen several of her ads and if Jennifer thinks that we should be off for Valentine's Day, I think that we should be off for Valentine's Day as well. Lastly, Valentine's Day is a very emotional day. It brings people together through their love and their connections, and they want to spend this precious time together, and work might tear them apart, so we should give them the day off for Valentine's Day so that they can enjoy each other's company. Throughout this argument, I've used the fallacies of a circular argument. I use my claim as my evidence. I then used an irrational appeal of authority by saying that Jennifer Aniston, the celebrity, endorsed it, so therefore it must be true and it must work like that. And lastly, I used the irrational appeal of emotion. Valentine's Day should not be a national holiday and we shouldn't get the day off from school and work. First of all, it's always been like this and people have learned to adapt. They know they're going to have to work or go to school on Valentine's Day, so they plan around it. So why change it if they've already got their plans made around this? Second of all, I was watching Grey's Anatomy one time, and a ton of trauma came in on Valentine's Day, so that leads me to believe that it's a very dangerous holiday, and people would be better off if they were at school or work anyway. And lastly, if we give people the day off for Valentine's Day, they're going to keep asking for more and more holidays off, and before you know it, we're hardly going to be working or going to school, so nothing's ever going to get accomplished because of all these holidays. Throughout this argument, I've used the following fallacies. In the first argument, I used the irrational pill that it's always been this way, so why change it now? In the second one, I used the post hoc false cause. Um, the people did get injured on Valentine's Day, but it was because of a restaurant collapsing. It didn't actually have anything to do with the day of it being Valentine's Day. This also uses authority because Grey's Anatomy is a popular show, so people will believe what is shown there and what they see or hear from that show. And lastly, I used the strawman. I replaced the claim with the worst one. So if we give them Valentine's Day off, they're going to keep asking for more and more days off, which would lead to us never getting anything accomplished. I watched the Old Spice commercial, and through it, I saw quite a few fallacies. Um, first, I saw what I called to be a red herring and slippery slope combination. So he's discussing the product, but the product just keeps turning into other items. So one thing keeps leading to another, and it's leading you to a different part in the storyline. But as it's doing that, it's also a red herring because as he, the product changes, he also changes the topic. So it just keeps switching back and forth. Um, I found this to be a really ineffective fallacy, and I don't think it was really acceptable for this commercial because it's so distracting. You have no idea what's going on. You don't even know what the product is because this guy can, keeps talking about random things that have absolutely nothing to do with Old Spice. Um, this commercial also is playing on people's irrational appeal to emotion because they're creating this fantasy man that's riding in on a white horse and he has tickets to the play you want to see and he has diamonds and your man could smell like him if he used this product. So I thought that this one was acceptable and it was kind of effective in getting people to want their man to use this product because they wanted this fantasy man that the commercial has created. So this commercial created both acceptable and ineffective fallacies.